Hands, a melody. And just last night, man, um, it was it was it was like the summit meeting. Yeah, freestyle. You you had uh, hard ass rap. You had the sort of beatnik, bohemian poetry type vibe rap. So you had all that, and most importantly, the audience was into it, which I mean, which would you know that pleased me the most. So. You know, I mean, it was an incredible high, but of course, you know, we're going to have to come down because I, I feel until... We're about 200 miles out of Los Angeles at this time, and we'll be starting our descent in about 10 minutes. And we just got a new weather report from Los Angeles. They have uh, uh, overcast skies, temperature is 60 degrees, and the wind is from the uh, southeast at 8 miles an hour. Wow, 60 degrees. Um... That that was that was just the whole. I mean, I wish my label really, really, truly saw that. And I'm I'm not speaking of my label as in my A and R and her people. I mean, because the, you know they support us. I'm talking as in my label, the people with the purse strings. You know that you know sometimes they just make us feel like they're doing us a favor, and we work very hard at our craft and I, I truly don't think they know what they have I don't I don't think they really know what they have on their hands one of the first stops for the band in LA will be the headquarters of Geffen Records so far the group's contact with Geffen has been through their A&R person Wendy Goldstein they haven't yet met the West Coast people including Vice President Robert Smith and the West Coast people haven't seen the band live I was asking Wendy whether or not she thought that you know Robert Smith will come to see us. I mean, she was a little iffy on it. Like, I don't know if he will or if he won't. You know, I, you know, I just hope for the, for the life of God that he's there because, I mean, I'll be highly disappointed if it's just like a bunch of interns and, you know, some people from the art department. The band is met at the airport by Geffen employees Kevin Mitchell and Marvin Mack, who will be escorting them everywhere for the next eight days. They pile into a van, 10 people in all their bags, and head off. After checking into a motel, two or three to a room, first stop is Geffen Records. Y'all come in. Hello. I'm here. This is Rochelle. She do college tomorrow. Hello. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm here. I'm here. Come on in. Come on in here. How's it going? Oh, wonderful. Yeah? You know, but everybody's, you know, at College Radio is really psyched. We have this band, too. Roots co-manager, Rich Nichols. I guess we initially went with Geffen because they were the big white company on the hill um, they had a lot of money and we thought they understood bands I think Geffen basically wanted to go with us because they wanted to get in on this burgeoning live black band thing again Joe Simmons right now they're the only record label we think at that level with that kind of income that didn't have a black music department already Thank you. It's a cool place to be. It's a cool place to be, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, go for it. Here's my card. Can you send you guys? Oh, yeah. Say hello. Who's that? No way. But no, thanks to Rochelle. Her name's Rochelle. Oh, Rochelle. Rochelle, thanks a lot for, like, you know, hooking up with Wendy and, you know, giving our label a chance. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, How long have you been working? I haven't worked with you. Yeah, I don't know. See, we got a conference call in 15 minutes, so I don't know. Cindy, do you have the appearance by the roots on the now defunct john stewart show had been a coup for them not only had they played well but it was unusual for an unknown hip-hop group like the roots to appear on a national tv show nothing but live performing proceed from the debut album do you want more please welcome the roots. Yeah. Yeah.
This is the first opportunity the group has had to see the tape. They and the record company execs are enthralled. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'll see you all later. Well, listen, I will. 